Hey folks, Irrational Loser here and welcome to the first episode of our brand new Minecraft survival series. Now, most folks who start a new world, what's the first thing they do? They get resources, start mining, go and get iron and things like that, you right? Nah, we're not doing that. Today, today we are doing well an iron farm. Right at the start. That's right, we are doing an iron farm. And Thanks to my mod pack, Irrational Loser Plus, link in the description, go check it out. We spawn right next to a village. We spawn right next to a village. Now, before we get started on the iron farm though, we do need some tools. So I need a pickaxe, I need a shovel, I need a crafting table, and I need some wood. So let's get going. Alright, so as I said, you spawn right in a village. So this is, this is what you get. Now you might get a good village, you might get a wee small village that we've got, but a village is still a village. So let's get a load of wood. Remember to replant any saplings you may get, because wood is always going to be needed. And continue getting more and more wood. All right, so we've got a lot of wood. Now we need a crafting table. I'm going to plop this down here and make a wooden shovel and I think two wooden pickaxes just to be on the safe side really I also need a wooden boat I need some trap doors and then I need some slabs as well and that is basically the start of our iron farm gonna need three buttons as well and there we go, that's just done the start. Now to get on to the iron farm. Now before we jump into this, let's talk about location. We're building the iron farm right here and this is a small flat area here. But not only that, is we're building it in the spawn chunks. Now why is that important? Well, spawn chunks are always loaded, even when you're far away. So that means our iron farm will continuously work, even if we're off and away exploding. So we'll always have iron getting generated, no matter what. Well, if it's a single player and you're not on a server, then it won't generate anything. But, you have a server, it'll continuously run. Which is really, really cool. And I love it. So that's why I want to get this started, so that we've got enough resources to pretty much last us the rest of the series. Because, to be honest with you, I think this is a really powerful iron farm. And getting it done at the start is just so much better. So let's get digging. Alright, so find a little space like this. And you're going to dig a three long hole like this. And then you're going to go down seven. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh. Six, seven. So we need to get down here. This lapis is going to be a pain though. There we go, that's seven down. Is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. And then you're going to create a three by three by three square in this area down here. Just like so, and then you're going to get your slabs, and you're going to place them like this, on the top half. Now you get one of your trap doors and place it there. This will just allow you easy access in and out once you get down here. And then from here, we're going to dig along another two. Like so. And then we're going to put two in the roof here like this. You're going to get your buttons. Place the three buttons here like that. This will stop any iron golems spawning here, killing your zombie. You're going to go into the middle of these two spaces on this line. And you're going to jump and place your boat. And that's pretty much this area kind of done. You've got the beds to go in next. Now we need to climb up. 
We're going to hit out a three block high, come under here, and then we're going to just dig up a staircase to the, the ground, to the, to the surface. And this is where your other trap doors come in handy. So we're going to place one here like this, and the other one here like that. And this will allow us to open and close these, so that we can trap a zombie down below. Now, we need to get some beds. So we need about six beds in total, and I think we may just have enough in here. If not, there is some sheep about, so that's fine. Right, let's go and find some of the beds. Uh, no bed in here. Two beds in here. And a chest. What's in our chest? Ooh, nice. Got some food, which is really handy. And an emerald. And some potatoes as well. But we'll leave that all in there. And I will pop all this stuff in here as well. And let's see, how many more beds do we need? We need two more. Is there any in here? No, but we've got another fletching table. There we go, one more, and I think it's in here, yeah, there we go, perfect, six beds, now I need to get down here again to place the beds, now handily we can just jump down, it's not going to hurt us too much, and we can easily get out like so, and if we do that with that, perfect, and now I go back up, Open this up, jump out of here, jump there, get the other beds and we're going to place it so that the head part is above the hole. And this will allow us to drop the villagers down into the hole without hurting them. And now it's just a case of waiting for night time, which shouldn't be too far away, thankfully. But this, this thing you're seeing just now, what's happening, is because it's supposed to be raining, but I don't know why it's not. It's kind of weird. It only happens sometimes, not all the time. Right, here we go. Get some villagers coming in. And they've slept. Now go to the bottom corners and hit them. And then sometimes they fall in, sometimes they don't. go one more and that's us done with that there we go perfect so now now i need to get a zombie but i also need to spawn proof the stairs area first so i need some more wood oh there's a zombie but he's been chased by an iron golem and he's dead Wood is a creeper. And I can't run. Oh, there's two of them there. Oh, that's scary. Right, well they're they're now <laughs> they're now protecting my way down. But that gives us a wee chance to get some more buttons made up. I think I only need about six. This will stop any iron golems spawning on the stairs up. But I do still need some zombies and villagers as well. But I could probably protect the villagers here while we're waiting. Get them in. Oh, would you look at that? A wild loser appears. Now, if you've got to this point in the video and you've not subscribed yet, why not? Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Let's get into it. As long as I can get two safe and sound, then I'm fine. I don't need to worry about the rest of them. Because then we can get like a breeder up and going. There we go. Right, we'll lock them off. Right, there's a skeleton there. A couple of endermen. I need a zombie though. Creepers, creepers, creepers. Skeleton creepers. Give me a zombie. Ah, oh, there's some there. Oh, yes, thank you, you found me. 
Let's see if you pick any of these up. Oh, hello. Can you pick that up? No. No. All right. Right, let's run over here. Make sure I'm nice and safe. Oh, there's a creeper there. Oh, thank gosh for that. Woofed. All right, so that should be it done. There should be a, that's what I didn't want, but it is dying, so that's fine. So once it gets a bit safer out here, we'll run out. And I'll go pop these on the stair. I heard a skeleton there. And we just need to wait and this guy's slowly dying. There we go. And then I can pop these down. So we get four iron from that one golem, which is really good. That will give us a bucket. Which means we can... Whoa! Oh, are you in that water? That's cheating. You're a cheater. Because I need to go over the... Oh, yay! Thank you, Iron Golem. Can you get it? Thank you. Oh, gosh. Right. So, we now have iron. I can now get a bucket. I can also make a hole. This will help with a lot of stuff as well. Don't worry. So now we need to dig out an area to kill the iron golems. So we're going to go from here. This one here. This should be the block down. Oh no. So we go for this one, which is the third block. We go out to go here. And then we're going to dig along nine in this direction. So one, two, three, four, five, no, I've lost it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four, making it five. One, two, three, four, five. So a nine by five. And we'll do this on the other side. And then come up to the top part here and then on the corners put a dirt block and then stagger it like this as well so that you have hello you doing okay well you're not supposed to be there right now hmm whoops yeah, so you'll have eight blocks like this placed about. Next, we're just going to take away all the blocks underneath that, leaving these blocks floating just for now, because this is uh, a quick and easy way to kill the iron golems. It will take its time. Oh, I'm out. So it will take its time to kill them, but until we can get a lava source, which shouldn't be too hard, as long as we look about and find one. But this will allow us to basically get iron gone spawning and dying as quickly as possible. So that we're getting more and more iron faster.
There we go. Perfect. Now I'm going to mark out the middle. So one, two, three, four. This is the middle here. This is where we're going to put our first hopper. And we can. Where did the slabs go? I must have put them away. If you still have your slabs, you can pop one here like this. This will help with opening the chest that you're going to put here. So yeah, next we're going to go and find the water. Which shouldn't be too hard, seeing as how we've got this beach right next to us. Do I have any bread? No, I've ate all the bread. <laughs> So grab your water, if you've already got iron, if not, just wait for the first one to die. Place it here, but first, so once you've got your water, you're going to come back over to the side where your hopper is going to be, and you're going to take your hoe, you're going to take your hoe and pull these four parts of dirt, or if it's stone, put some dirt and hoe it. This will stop any iron golems spawning here, which will start dying in here. It's a weird thing, I don't get how it works. Now go get your second lot of water and do the same on the opposite side. Like so. And then place your water. So these won't turn back to dirt because they will get waterlogged or moisturised. So that'll allow for that to stay like that. Next is finding your... What do you call it? Lava source. But we do need some signs as well. Which I don't have enough for. Uh, let's, let's take some logs here. That should just be enough. If I can make another three say what? Oh. It's not enough. Why do I keep messing up? Oh, I'm not even... I need to turn it into planks. There we go. Right, so we have all these signs now. I now need some more wood. Excuse me. Sorry, what? <laughs> okay then. Like, that just wasn't weird. Like, I know I'm trying to kill a lot of these, but... I didn't even touch you. I was busy mining this blog. Oh, iron golems. Anyway, we need a gate. Fence gate. And we're pretty much ready to go now for the lava. So what you're going to do is, you're going to find the middle, you're going to go out to, like so, you're going to place the gate here if you can, open it up, come here, place a sign above it, this will stop this catching fire if you have fire tick on, and you're going to place signs like so. And then take away the two blocks that you placed and then place another sign on your slab or stairs, whatever you have, and you're ready for the lava. No, you're not, because I've done this wrong. You want to go there. Yeah, right there. And that's that pretty much ready to go. Now, this isn't spawning anything because of these guys. So we will need to get rid of them fairly soon. But we need the lava. 
So it's time to go find some lava. And there we have it. A whole pool of lava. Nice. Right, let's get back up and out because it's becoming night time. I do not want to get stranded during the night because we're still not fully equipped yet to handle it. So here we are. I think, I, yep, it did. An iron golem spawned and we got three pieces of iron from that. Now I need to get out of here, place the lava source right here and then dig out and then I need to go and sleep. So once that's done that, as you can see we've got more iron golems spawning, take away the dirt that you've got because now you don't need it because of the lava. The lava will allow the iron golems to die faster. Meaning you get iron a lot, lot faster. As you can see. Now I'm going to jump down here. Grab that bit of iron. I'm going to go back up. Because now I need some wood. Thankfully I planted these trees. Because we need a couple of chests now. One for a hopper and two to collect the items in. Right, jump over to our crafting table, make three chests, oh, I don't have enough for two, that's fine just now, we can create one hopper and a chest, we'll jump over here, hello, and I can pop the chest right here like that, and because there's a stair there, I can open this chest easily and then I need to get down here and pop that there but because there's some iron already there I do need to come down and get it because it won't get picked up by the hopper. Remember to collect all of your iron first. So that will now put some iron into here as well as poppies which is not too bad you can turn that into bone meal if you need to. But I do want a double chest so it's a bit easier for me to reach it. So let's go and grab some more wood. Pop the other chest down and there we go. So we're now up to 11 iron. Which is brilliant. And it is just a case of waiting and letting this fill up. So that we can fully kit ourselves out. But I need food. <laughs> With that short time lapse there, it was about 15 minutes long, let's see how we done. Now that was me going a bit AFK, throwing in a few of the iron golems that had spawned. Wow. Wow. 52 iron in total. That is crazy. Because that allows us to literally get every piece of iron armor as well as a sword, a pickaxe, an axe, a shovel and a hoe, leaving 17 pieces of iron afterwards. That is absolutely crazy. Like, we are fully iron geared out, 
It is nuts. Like, it's such, such a good little farm. It works so well. And I love it. Like, great way to start any world. Oh, here we go. <laughs> and we've just got another three to five pieces just there. Uh, yeah, it's crazy how this works so well. And you could leave this running as you start going about and doing more things in the world. And it will build up and build up. Now, you did see me put the rows in like this. This will just help with basic storage, the item sorting. So, until you can start getting the poppies all bone meal and things like that, or build this up to a bigger farm, then it's probably best doing this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you want to see this iron farm fuel our epic adventures from here on out, do not forget to like and subscribe for more Minecraft Madness. So until next time folks, stay rational.